good evening. Hi, Maritza, how are you? Hi, teacher. Hi. I'm fine. Excellent. How was your day today, Maritza, work? I, my day was tired <laughs> okay. and productive, productive. Okay. Yes, all right. Interesting, very good. Do you work tomorrow, Maritza? No. Tomorrow, no. I I work. Trabajo un sábado cada 15 días. Ah, you work every other Saturday. Every other Saturday. Every other Saturday. That's right. Yes. Ah, oh, okay. So tomorrow, no. <laughs> tomorrow, no. Okay, that's good. You get to rest. But the Saturday that you work, uh, Maritza, it's only half a day or it's a complete day? Half day. Okay. All right. In the morning. Only in the morning. Okay. Only that's morning. good. All right. That's nice. Hi, Marco. Hi, Domingo, Alexander, Ever. Good evening, Francisco, Jorge, and Mariano. Hi, teacher. Hi. Hi. Good evening. Hello. How are you? Hi. Hello, teacher. Hello, good evening. Hello, hello. All right, very good. So Amilcar is coming in too, so that's good. Mariano Hi, also. Hi, Carlos. Mm -hmm. How are you? Hi, Mariano. All right, so are you guys happy today's Friday or you have to work tomorrow? Some of you do, some of you don't. Francisco, do you work tomorrow? Yes, of course. Tomorrow. Okay. All right. Yes, Great. of course. Tomorrow uh, I will go to work. Oh, okay. All right. I hear you. Um, what about Carlos or Alberto? Do you work tomorrow? Oh, teacher. <laughs> It's my day off tomorrow. Yay. And Sunday too, or only Saturday? Uh, Sunday is study. Oh, okay, okay. And you study all day, yeah. Carlos? Yeah, teacher. Oh my goodness, so it's all very, day. it's tiring, Carlos. Yes. <laughs> I know, all it's right. But, yeah. Okay, well, but it will be worth it, Carlos, okay? So you keep it up, okay? Very good. Thank you. Amilcar, ¿cómo se siente? How are you feeling now? Are you feeling better? Amilcar, no? Not there yet? Good night, teacher. Good night, everybody. Hi, hi. Good night. I'm okay. Hi. I'm okay. Okay. Good night. Good evening. <laughs> yeah. All right. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good evening. <laughs> That's okay, Amilka. No se preocupe. It's good evening. Yes, very nice. Bueno, me alegra que se sienta mejor. Thank you. Excellent. All right. Very nice, guys. So Edwin is already with us and Victoria too. Okay. So if you guys can turn your cameras on, we're going to keep on talking about what we began to talk about yesterday. Yesterday at the end of the class, well, half class, we were talking about some prepositions, all right? Or time expressions, okay? Remember, let me see. Um, Ever, tell me only one. Yo sé que usted se la sabe todas, Ever, all right? But tell me only one time expression that we saw yesterday, um, Ever. Okay, teacher, good evening, everyone. Uh... Sometimes expression is like the uh, usually uh, now until uh -huh, uh, until another mm, and from and to yes from to until very good thank you ever very nice let me see Jonathan can you tell me another 
time expression that we studied yesterday. Do you remember any? Excuse me? Time expression. Uh-huh. For example, ever was saying from, to, until. Do you remember another one? I don't remember. Okay, don't worry about it. A ver, Mariano, Edwin, or Carlos, Francisco, who remembers? Maritza, anybody else that remembers time expressions that we studied yesterday? Since. Since, since, all right, until, then, very good, until, okay. Then. Then, very since. good, Edwin, uh-huh. Four. Four, yes, okay. Two. From. From to, very nice, yes, okay. Long, Long. uh -huh. very Long. nice, guys, okay. ¿Y están viendo ahí el libro o se acordaban de verdad? Uh -huh. <laughs> de memoria. <laughs> excellent, very nice, excellent. All right, very good, guys. Okay, so it's um 8.06. Voy a poner acá en el chat de aquí... I'm going to write some sentences that I realized that some people were saying on the platform. Solo quiero que veamos esto en la plataforma. El ejercicio, la tarea 2. All right. Creo que están teniendo problema con ese. All right. Porque vi que estaban escribiendo en el chat. All right. Solo denme un segundito aquí. Y después tomamos asistencia. A ver. Sí, puede, no sé si tienen la plataforma ahorita abierta para esa tarea. ¿La tendrán abierta por ahí? Sí, no. Sí, sí. Yes, All right, sí. okay. A ver, ahí en el chat de aquí he puesto working less hours will be another benefit. Esa es la número, that's number, hold on guys, ahorita reviso. That's number three. Yeah, that is number three. Check it, please. De hecho, si quiere, copiela y pégela. So, it would be okay. Y me van avisando if they're okay. This one that I'm going to write right now on the chat is number four. Number four. I am good. You're good? Excellent. And mm -hmm. this one is number five in el caso, because I don't know which ones you were saying earlier today. All right. So, we have number three, four, five. Si las puede copiar, on, like, copy paste, even better. Porque si va cualquier mayúscula o punto o letra o espacio de más o de menos, it should be okay. Me pueden ir avisando si se las toma bien ahora. Teacher, la puede repetir, por favor. Eh, ¿Cuál? Jorge, disculpe. Uh, pero... ¿Tres? La tres le tendría que quedar. Ahí, ahí están en el chat de aquí ahorita de, de okay, Zoom. Okay. Okay, Donde dice, working less hours would be another benefit. Working capital W and period at the end of the sentence. Thank you, teacher. All right. Maritza, ¿las tiene bien usted? Sí, ya la, la aceptó. aceptó oh, excelente. Como está escrita ahí. La número okay. cuatro. Ah, muy bien. Y detectó que era el posible error que usted estaba poniendo, Maritza, en el caso, por ejemplo. Sí, le estaba poniendo después de will be a good option. Le había puesto, uh, no sé por qué había puesto a happy employees. Ah, Maritza, ok. <ríe> All right, that's ok. Daniel, ya, le, ya, do you have them correct, Daniel? Uh, yes, teacher, I have them correct, no problem. Okay, Thank ah, you. okay, very nice. Vicky, what about you? Everything okay? Excellent, Vicky. Francisco, everything okay? Mm. So, so. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, more or less. Okay, all right. 
Well, igual las voy a escribir en el, el, el grupo de WhatsApp para que les quede de referencia. Igual porque no sé si los compañeros que estaban preguntando hoy temprano están ya acá. All right, so ya los voy a poner igual ahí. All right, very good. Ok, entonces ya recuerdo eso. Hola, Alexander, dígame. Dice, eh, es que el problema es que nosotros poníamos staff en el ejercicio de espacio staff y aquí pone usted justo employees. La nuevo, número 4. Ahorita veo. Number y ahí four. sale bueno. Ajá. En el ejercicio parece que opción oh, staff. Entonces nosotros poníamos staff. Uh -huh. Entonces uh -huh. ahí se ha cambiado staff por employees. Sí, es cierto. All right. Muy buena observación. Sí, de hecho, así está en la plataforma. Ahorita lo voy a, voy a, voy a reportar eso para que se pueda cambiar. Ahorita. Um, uh -huh. All right. ¿Sabe qué voy a hacer? Permítame. Sí, con razón no le salía. Oh, es, es verdad. Y tiene es dos A. ¿Cuál sí. tiene ah, dos A? La oración allí. cuatro en, en las... Las opciones en las, tiene dos A. En las opciones tiene dos A. Vaya. No, pero no es... No es el, ajá, y... Employee por staff. Ajá, sí, employee claro. por staff. Y tiene dos A. Ajá. Sí. All right, ah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Aunque yo había probado, aunque yo había probado ya solo con una A, pero no. nunca me vino a tirar en Muy bien. All right, lo voy a cambiar. Entonces ya no, va, ya no les va a aparecer como en staff, sino que como employees, porque igual ya pusieron la respuesta sí, como yo se las acabo de dar, ¿cierto? Uh -huh. Sí. All right, okay. Yes. yes. Okay, it's changed already. Ya, ya no va a haber problema. Ya le cambié eh, en la opción, ya cambié. Borré staff y puse employee. All right, para que ya les, les salga bien y no tengan ningún problema. Thank you, Alexander. Super. Le voy a regalar un punto a Alexander. Mm, yo que voy bien bajito ya. Okay. Very good observation. Excellent. Ok. Ok, pero ya no tendrían que tener ningún problema porque ya lo cambié. Borré la palabra staff. Dele si gusta refrescar su um, pantalla o su... Um, plataforma para que ya le aparezca employee como, como opción para que ya no estemos poniendo es, ya no tenga arriba staff y luego employee porque no tiene sentido, es una cosa u otra very good, thank you alright, María Melina le extrañamos ayer, what happened to you yesterday my friend um, good evening teacher I, I have a Personal problem, teacher. Okay, all right. Yeah, bueno sorry. Que está aquí, María Melina. Don't worry about it. You're here now. And thank you, teacher. I'm very happy to see you. Okay, guys. So let's see. Carlos thank Roberto García. You thank you. Carlos Roberto García Ramírez. Carlos uh, Alberto Rodríguez. Hola. Present, teacher. Thank you. Daniel Antonio Luna. Present teacher. Domingo Alexander González. Present teacher. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas. Present teacher. Ever de Jesús Candray Montano. Present teacher. Fátima Alejandra Centeno Franco. Uh, Gilmar Cruz Méndez Méndez. Present. Thank you. Uh, Johnny Omar Torres Mata. No, ha de haber seguido malito Johnny. Um, Jonathan Alexander Pineda Díaz. <coughs> Jonathan, Jonathan, ¿dónde está? Ahí está, ya. Yeah, thank you, Jonathan. Jorge Elvir Miranda Ramos. José Francisco Hernández Ábalos. Present teacher. Thank you. Carla Benazir Lara González. Present, Miss. Thank you, Carla. Marco David Velázquez Vázquez. Present, teacher. María Emelina Iraeta de Salinas. Maritza Alcira Castellón. Present, teacher. Thank you. Maritza Alcira Castellón Celaya. Present, teacher. Misael Rivera Aquino. Nancy Lice Rodríguez Escoto. Right. Romeo Alexis Rodríguez Joaquín. 
Present. Jasmine Melanie Lemus Rodriguez. Present, teacher. Marlon Alberto Cardona Valencia. Marlon? No. Carlos Eduardo Melgar Rivas. Present, teacher. Thank you. Mariano Jose Paca Santa Maria. Present, teacher. Thank you. Vicky Dinora Gutierrez de Durán. Present teacher. Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. Present teacher. Adela Trinidad González Consuegra. Victoria María Vázquez Juárez. Present. Amilcar Cañengues Aceituno. Present teacher. Thank you, Amilcar. Very nice. Okay, guys. So, let's see. Ah, Marlon is present. ¿Dónde está Marlon? No lo veo. Ah, sí, ya lo vi. <laughs> All right, thank you, Marlon. Yeah, all right. Okay, guys, so we were, um, para los que entraron despuesito, all right, ahí en el chat, en pues del chat de aquí de Zoom, I wrote the sentences for exercise two. For the tarea no, number two, Sentences three, four, and five, all right? So maybe you can copy them and paste them if you had any troubles with them, all right? Igual ya los voy a mandar en el grupo de WhatsApp. Okay, so, teacher. yes. Sorry, teacher. Uh, but the answer, uh -huh. the question uh, one and two, uh, just uh, the answers, answers it, but platform don't, don't correct it. Which ones, Marcos? Marcos, sorry. Uh, yesterday answers the question number one and number two. And I write in my book, uh -huh. but the platform is incorrect. For which exercise? For which tarea? Yeah. For which one? For which tarea? Hay un micrófono abierto, si me ayudan por ahí. Um, yeah. Which the... tarea are you talking about? The uh, homework two. Uh, uh -huh. Exercise no. one and two. You don't have them correct. Two. De las que estamos resolviendo. Ajá. Uh -huh. La tres, cuatro y cinco. No. Todavía uno les y sale? dos. Ah, la uno y dos también. Uno y, uno y dos. Es que ayer las resolvimos. Sí. Ayer las resolvimos. Antier creo que las resolvimos. O ayer. Y ah. las anoté en mi cuaderno, así como las dejamos en, 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 Ajá. ¿Y en se el las ejercicio mala? De, después de la, del diálogo, sí, sí. pero no me las acepta. Y ya intenté de varias, varias formas. De varias no. formas. A ver, ahorita. Se las voy a poner tal cual están o deberían de estar. Se la pongo aquí en el chat. ¿Alguien más tiene problemas con la 1 y 2? No. No. Esas sí se las había tomado no, bien. No, no teacher. All right, vaya Marco. Ahí él le acaba de poner one and two. All right, on the Zoom, the chat of Zoom, right. check it. All right, and then let me know. Right. Please, thank you. All right, guys, so let's continue here. Yesterday, we stopped on page 15. So if you have your book, we're going to work on page 15, uh, where it says um, job listing and job application. All right, that's what we're going to work on today. So here we have, ayer decíamos esto, all right. Read the segments of a conversation between an HR representative and a new employee, okay? So here we have Alan and Blanca. Ayer leímos, bueno, en mi caso leí las preguntas nada más y dije que vamos a trabajar uh, con eso tonight. All right. So here we have Alan. What is your social security number? Ah, it's 34563245-78654. All right. That's a very long number. When were you born? 
All right. Ah, I was born on July 1st. Where did you work? I worked in Molsa. What did you do there? I was the evening engineer. I mean, sorry, manager. I was the evening manager. Thank you. Yeah. When did you work there? From 2005 to 2011. Do you have a university diploma? Yes, I do. I have a BBA, a bachelor's degree. In other words, a licenciatura. Do you have any chronic medical condition? Chronic medical condition? Yes, I do. I have hypertension. All right. So, yeah, very good. So these are some some information that maybe the human resource uh, representative. Si me ayudan con un micrófono. All right. All right. Okay. So these are some information that people may ask you. All right. Uh, when you have to make a job application. Okay. Now, in El Salvador, probably they are not going to ask you for the social security number. Maybe they will ask you for your ID or DUI number. All right. But if they ask you for your social security numbers, like Seguro Social, all right? But probably they will ask you for your DUI, not for the Seguro Social number, all right? Or the NEET. Sorry. All right, the other question, when were you born? Solo recordarles, la fecha, no me vaya a decir July 1. ¿Verdad? Tenemos que decir July 1st. En el caso que nació ese día, si na esa fecha, si nació el quinto de septiembre, decimos September 5th. All right. You don't say September 5th. Oh, cuidado con las fechas. All right. Where did you work? I worked. All right. Uh, Recuerda the pronunciation for worked. worked. All right. Yeah. Very good. Nice. Okay. And then here you have more um, questions. A ver, um, Marco, can you please be Alan? And Maria Melina, can you please be Blanca? Si gusta que me vaya a leer, en este caso Maria Melina, lea Blanca. Si gusta solo diga los últimos números porque es súper largo. All right, so we make it short. All right, Marco and Maria. Right. Um, what is your social security number? Maria Melina, your microphone. It is three four five six three two forty five. Teacher, como digo en inglés. Dash. Dash. Uh -huh. uh, dash. Seven eight. 654. Okay, very good. Continue. When were you from? No, when were you born? Born. I was born on July 1st. Where did you work? I work in Molsa. What did you do there? I was the evening manager uh, when did you work there uh, from 2005 to 2011 do you have a university diploma yes i do i have a bb8 do you have any chronic medical condition yes i do I have hypertension. All right, very good. Thank you, uh, Marco. And thank you, Maria Melina. Very good. Let's see. I'm going to choose mm -hmm. a people. All right. Um, Fatima. Hi, Fatima. Fatima, good evening. Hello. 
Fatima, can you please be Bla Blanca? And Daniel, can you be Alan? Okay. What is your social security number? It's uh, seven eight six five four. When were you born? I was born on July first. <clears throat> Where do you work? I work at Moza. What did you do there? I was the evening manager. When did you work there? From 2005 and 2011. Do you have a university diploma? Yes, I do. I have a BBA. Do you have any chronic medical condition? Yes, I do. I have a hypertension. Perfect. Thank you, Fatima. Very nice. Nice to have you in class again. All right. Very good. Let's see. What about um, Francisco? Can you please be Alan? And let's see here. Amilcar, can you be Blanca? Hi, Johnny. Okay. Uh, what is your social security number? It's seven eight six five four. Uh, when were you born? I was born on July first. Where did you work? I worked in Molsa. What did you What did you do there? I was the evening manager. When did you work? When did you work there? From 2005 and to 2011. Okay. Do you have a university diploma? Yes, I do. I have a ABBA. Do you have any chronic medical condition? Yes, I do. I have hypertension. Wow, guys, very nice. Well done. Thank you. All right. So here, this, as I said, these are like very important questions because if you ever go to an interview that's in English, probably they will ask you some of these questions, all right, especially for personal information questions. Teacher, um, yes. the question, uh -huh. um, from 2005 or to 2011, uh -huh. uh, así es, o yo anteriormente estábamos oyendo que decían 2025 or 2011, ¿cómo, cómo es? Es el 2005 es 2005, o 2005, como se quiera. All right, 2005 or 2005. Uh, Cualquiera de las dos es válido. Or, and... 20, huh? yeah. 2005 uh -huh. to 20, 20 of 11. O puedo decir 25 or 20 of 11. 25, no. Tendría que decir 20 of 5 to 2011. Okay. 2011. Okay. O también puede decir uh, 2005 to 2011. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh -huh. All uh, right. Uh, separo el 2, el 2, 0, y digo 11. Sí, sí. Acuérdese que los años en inglés los separamos por dos dígitos. Si usted dice no, 1987, va a decir 1987. Mm -hmm. All right, no va a decir 1987. Nadie dice los años así. Es 1987. Ok. En este caso, como es 2005, okay. puede decirlo 2005 o puede decir, ahí sí, 2005, porque no hay tanto número. Solo el 20 y luego all 
five, ya, que le da el 2005. Ok. Y después 2011, o 2011. 2011, sí, 20. 2011. Ajá. 2011. Yes, very good, Alexander. Yep, very okay. good. All right, do you have any other questions? Anybody else? Me, teacher. Okay, good. Yes, Johnny, tell me. Uh, I was the evening manager. Uh, yes. What is her schedule? Um... Maybe she begins at 6 p.m. All yes. the way to the next morning or like about 11 or 1 or 2 in the morning. We just know the, um, we know the beginning of the shift that is like about 6 p.m. Okay, thank you. All right, yep, you're welcome. Anybody else? Hey, sure. Yes, tell me. Can you please repeat the Blanca's security number? Yeah, ahí lo podemos ir de, diciendo uno por uno, eh, María Melina, porque si lo dice con trillones ya, no sé. <laughs> All right, but it would be three, four, five, six, three, two, four, five. Puede decir dash o puede decir hyphen, seven, hyphen. eight, six, five, four. Uh -huh. Dash. Dash o hyphen. ¿Cómo escribimos dash? Teacher? Así como se oye, D-A-S-H. O si okay. puede poner hyphen, es H-I-P-H-E-N. Hyphen. Okay. All right. Teacher, There, uh, yes. The evening manager is where the, uh, how to say, the field starts to work. Uh, night and That's, finish uh, probably and finish, uh, in the morning. Uh -huh, and finish yeah. in the morning of the next day. Yeah, probably. Probably he or she starts the, at six. Uh, from okay, six on. The, the six night shift. Uh -huh. You can say night shift. Yeah, you can say both night shift or evening shift. Okay. Thank All right. You. If you say night shift, it's más tarde. All right, más noche. All right, pero uh -huh. el evening, yes, si yes. me dice evening, yo me imagino que empieza eso de las seis de la tarde. Oh, perdón. All right, okay. o puede ser siete, yes. ocho, ¿verdad? Pero usted me dice, ah, no, es que yo tengo the night shift. Entonces, quizás entra a las doce, once, y se queda toda la noche. Oh, yes. in, my, in, my, in my case, I, I work from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. How can uh -huh. I say this, this um, uh, evening? Probably you would, because, because you work 12 hours straight, Daniel, you probably would have to say night shift. Night shift uh, because yes, you're working okay. 12 hours. Uh -huh. oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Yes. Thanks. Okay. Yeah. Very Thank good. You. Yep. No problem. Okay. Let's see. Um, number one, it says, what kind of education does Blanca have? Anybody, what kind of education does Blanca have? EBA is a um, bachelor in business bachelor. administration. Yeah. Bachelor. What is it, Maritza? What's a BBA? Bachelor in business administration. Okay. Yeah. All right. Oh, bachelor in okay. business administration. Yeah. When you is say bachelor, master? No, it's a licenciatura. Okay. Licenciatura en administración de empresas. Yes. EBA is licenciatura en administración de empresas. That's right. Yes. Okay. I have this. <laughs> but I don't. But I don't work about that. <laughs> oh my goodness, really, Daniel. That's, your job is very different. <laughs> yeah, totally. To yeah, totally all right, different. yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> very good. All right, let's see. Number two, what other type of job could Blanca have in the company? A ver, taking into account that she has a BBA and that she has been an evening manager, which... <sighs> Hi, which other um, type of job could Blanca have in the company? Supervisor. Sure, maybe, maybe. yes. Maybe. Any uh, other ideas? Uh, H, H, R, 
um, how to say assistant. Ah, an HR assistant, maybe, yes. HR. Hi, Jorge Luis. All right, yeah, very good. Many other possibilities. All right, very good. Okay, so now this is what I want us to work on. We're going to do this application for employment, okay? It says you have to fill it in. But the idea, guys, is that you ask English questions. These are very, very basic questions. All right, so the date, uh, you can write it, for example, what's the date today? Uh, today is January 28th, mm. all right? Position applied for. Usted le va a preguntar, solo por cuestiones de cómo llenar esto, usted le va a preguntar a Mil, si usted está trabajando con Amilcar, Amilcar, what is the position you are applying for? Y Amilcar puede decir una de verdad o una ficticia, no importa. All right. The idea is that I want you to ask the question. What is the position you are applying for? What is your name or what is your full name? Luego tenemos address. Todas estas requieren una pregunta. Okay. Um, hmm. All right, for example, cuando lleguemos a, uh, let me see, a driver's license, what would be the question, guys? Si usted está preguntando a Ever, ¿cuál sería la pregunta? Anybody, what would be the question? Do you have a license? Driver license? Do you have a driver's license? That's it, all right? And he's going to say, yes, I do, or no, I don't. No le va a decir, yes, I have, okay? It's, yes, I do. Luego, usted le va a decir, um, let's talk about your employment history, or tell me, usted se la puede poner aquí, ya sea cualquiera de las dos, usted puede decirle, la idea es que se entrevisten, all right? Tell me about your employ, oops, employment history, podría ser una opción, all right? Or the other one, it can be, um, can you, what is your? Can you say about the employee's history? Yeah, can you tell me? Or tell me. Si usted solo le puede decir tell me, es como cuénteme. Or can you tell me, cualquiera de las dos. Can you tell me about your employment, blah, blah, blah. All right, yeah. Ok, entonces acá tratemos de hacerlo lo más real posible. All right, piense on your real employment history. Piense cuando cada quien sabe cuándo empezó a trabajar en X lugar y cuándo dejó de terminar, o cuándo terminó, perdón. The name of the company, what was the address, what was your job title. All right, entonces la idea, como usted le está diciendo, cuénteme. Entonces, si usted me preguntara, tell me about your employment history, I would say, ah, okay. Uh, date of employment, 2010 to present. Name of the company, Universidad Pedagógica. Address, y si la puedes, la dice, all right. Job title, professor. Duties, English professor for the bachelor degree program. All right. Entonces, real, ponga su información real just for you to practice your real um, speaking skills. And then your education. What is your education? Do you have a degree? Do you have a university degree? Where did you study? When did you graduate? Okay, so vamos a ir llenando esto paso a paso. Y es, creo que es importante porque no se sabe nunca si a usted le va a tocar de verdad llenar una aplicación o una solicitud de trabajo o alguien en, en recursos humanos is telling you to upload it, all right? So, or to fill it out. Entonces, lo que vamos a hacer, voy a dejar de compartir aquí. Lo que vamos a hacer, voy a abrir varios grupos porque van a trabajar nada más en pareja, all right? Entonces, van a estar siempre con nada más dos personas. Maybe Mariano with Jorge, or Johnny with Marco, or Vicky with Daniel. I don't know, porque la máquina lo hace, la plataforma lo hace. But it's only two people, all right? Entonces, avísenme de verdad cuando ya hayan terminado. 
porque así no los interrumpo, porque quiero que lo hagan ambos, que ambos tengan the chance to ask each other. All right? Okay, guys? Okay. okay. I'm going to be going to your groups anyway to check on you. Hi, Marlon. Good evening. Hi, good evening. All right, so 12 groups, two participants per group, okay? So let's go, guys. Please open up your groups now. Teacher. Yes. Teacher. Hello. Eh, me podría enviar el link para poder agregarme al grupo de WhatsApp. Uh, ¿Dónde, Jonathan? All right, Marco, Maria Melina, Francisco, Trini, go to your groups, please. Ah, oh, Maria Melina, go to the groups. Lo siento. No, don't worry about it. That's okay. Thank you. Ya voy, Maria Melina. Solo déjenme ver quién, quién no puede entrar. A ver, Francisco and Trini, you Gracias. okay? Marco. Hello, teacher. Se me apagó la laptop, pero ya entré con el celular. Vaya, no se preocupe. Ahorita, ahorita los mando a un grupo. All right, all right. Pero, did you listen to the instructions, Marco? Yes. Okay, perfect. Okay. Ahorita, so, teacher, mi no. Mi okay, no ya, son... ya, sí, I know, María. So, por eso la tengo todavía aquí. Ahorita les explico. Gracias, lo siento. No, that's okay. Se salió alguien más. Es, hay problema de Inter ahora, creo. Ahorita va, Marco. All right. Thank you. All right, Maria Melina, we are working on page 16 of your 16. book. And we okay. are uh, we are writing, we're filling in the application for employment. Okay. Okay, so the idea is you ask your classmates and they ask you. Donde llegamos, okay. when we get to the part of tell me about your uh, employment history, la idea es decir algo de verdad, ¿verdad? Es, es como no inventarnos eso, sino que like to be as honest as possible. So we practice with real life um, language, all right? Okay. Uh, lo voy a mandar con Amilcar que ahorita está solo. Creo que el compañero que estaba con él tuvo problema, all right? Excelente, gracias. Thank teacher. you. Thank you. Amilcar, ahorita le mandé a María Emelina. Justo en el momento que usted se salía. <laughs> ok. La...
Hi, Trini. Este, tuve problemas de señal. Sí, ahorita la mando. Gracias. ¿Con quién estaba? ¿Se recuerda? Carlos. Con Amilcar. Carlos Estaba... Perdone, Trini, ¿se acuerda el número de sala? Es que no lo ubico. Tres, creo. Ok. Gracias. Okay.
Hi, Romeo. Hi, Mariano. Finishing or not yet? Hi, teacher. Hi. Uh, no yet. Okay, that's fine. That's okay. When you finish, please let me know in the group, in the WhatsApp group, okay? Okay, teacher. All right, thank you. Thank you, too.
All right, guys, I hope you had enough time to finish. If not, I guess you were almost finishing, all right? So that's okay. I'm just going to wait for everyone to be back so we can take the second attendance of the night. Okay, teacher. Very good. All right. What happened? <laughs> yeah, I think it was more than enough time you guys in the groups, but if you didn't finish, it's fine. As long as you were able to practice, that's more than enough. All right, I'm gonna take the second attendance and then we're gonna share some of your information and then we're going to move on. Carlos Roberto Garcia Ramirez. All right, Carlos Gualberto Rodriguez. Present. Daniel Antonio Luna. Present teacher. Domingo Alexander, thank you. Domingo Alexander Gonzalez. Present teacher. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas. Present teacher. Ever de Jesús Candray Montano. Present. Fátima Alejandra Centeno Franco. Present. Gilmar Cruz Méndez Méndez. Gilmar, no? All right. Johnny Omar Torres Mata. Present. Jonathan Alexander Pineda Díaz. Present. Jorge Elvir Miranda Ramos. Present. José Francisco Hernández Ábalos. Present. Teacher. Carla Benazir Lara González. Present, Miss. Thank you. Marco David Velázquez Vázquez. Present. María Emelina Iraeta de Salinas. Present, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Maritza Alcira Castellón Celaya. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Misael Rivera Aquino. Present, teacher. Thank you, Misael. Very nice. Uh, Nancy Lizette Rodríguez Escoto. Romeo Alexis Rodriguez Joaquin. Present. Very nice. Jasmine Melanie Lemus Rodriguez. Present teacher. Marlon Alberto Cardona Valencia. Present. Carlos Eduardo Melgar Rivas. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Mariano Jose Paca Santa Maria. Present teacher. Vicky Dinora Gutierrez de Durán. Present teacher. Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. Present teacher. Adela Trinidad González Consuegra. Thank you. Victoria María Vázquez Juárez. And Amilcar Cañengues Aceituno. Present teacher. Where are you, Amilcar? Oh, there you are. Thank you. Give me sister, I'm here. Yes, thank you. Yes, I know. Thank you. And Victoria Maria, where is it? Where is Victoria Maria? She wasn't here before? I think so. All right. Okay, guys, let's see. I'm going to ask some people um, some information. I'm not going to ask all the information because we're not going to finish. All right. But I will try to ask a few. Let's see. Fatima. Um, let's see, Fatima, what is, no, you know what, Fatima, tell me your employment history. Sorry, teacher, ¿qué me preguntó? Tell me about your Tell me about your employment history. Um, I work here in date is in 20, 2018 to 28, 2019. Okay, from, in, a ver, uh, Fatima, from 2018 
2019. Uh -huh. Very uh -huh. good. Uh -huh. In company name is Simán. Okay. Um, and address is San Salvador, La Gran okay. Vía. Okay. All right. And job title is cashier. Oh, the job title. Okay, cashier. Okay. And duties is in uh, customer service. Okay. And attend of clients. Yes, attend clients. Very good. Okay. Nice, Fatima. Thank you. All right. Let's see. What about um, Vicky? Tell me, uh, Vicky Dinora, tell me about your employment history. Okay, teacher, my history. Your employment history, yes. Okay, my history is in date 2009. 2009 is a um, name of company, Caja de Credito San Ignacio. Address okay. is in, in San Ignacio, Chalatenango. Okay. How little is cashier? E Doris is attention the client or customer. Oh, all right. Now, Vicky, how long did you work at that company? From, from what year to what year? Or you still work there? You don't work there anymore. Do you understand, Vicky? No, in, no, teacher. In that company? Yes. When did you start working and when did you finish? Okay. Eh, la fecha de inicio and the finish. Uh -huh. Okay, my eh, is in 2000, eh, 2009 and uh -huh. finished in 2000. Eh, Quiero ver, 16. Ok, ah, all right. Entonces, Vicky, Vicky y todos y todas, cuando tenemos una fecha de inicio y una fecha de fin, usted ya no trabaja en esa empresa. All right, decimos from, en el caso de Vicky, por decir algo, from 2009 to 2016. All right, ese es el rango. Yeah. Ok, very nice. Ok, very good. Igual para decir, um, El puesto de su trabajo, all right, o el, el título es title, ¿verdad? Very good, thank you, Vicky. Right. Let's see, yes, title. Let's see, what about yeah. um, Marlon? Tell me about your employment history. Okay, teacher. Well, I work in 2017 in Haines Brands. Okay. It was for one year. Okay. I was the the coordinator of organizational development. development. And I checked the training. Oh, all right. Which um Haines plant? The one that is in El Pedregal or the one that is in Opico? In Opico. Ah, all right. Okay, very yeah. good. For one year. Okay, Marlon, very good. I used to teach yes. English at Haines, but Pedregal. Yes. Yeah, all right. Very good. Nice. Thank you. All right, very good. Let's see. Um, What about, I don't know. I mean, volunteers. Let's see. I want to ask some people, but I want you to volunteer yourself. Okay, Hilma, yeah. very nice. Okay, so tell me about your employment history. Yeah, my history, um, my history, employment, employment history, and um, uh, from to two thousand to two thousand ten in okay. Min Miner. Oh, at Miner, okay. Ministry of Education. Yes. Um, in San in San Salvador City. A job title, a IT. Oh, uh, okay. Some, All right. Some duties, uh, 
computer manager. All right, very good, Hilmar. Interesting. And the other, yes. the other employment is uh -huh. from 2011 uh -huh. to actually ah. Technovision. Okay. Conservador City. The uh, title uh -huh. uh, developer. Developer, okay. And uh, there is a web developer. All right. Interesting. Okay. <clears throat> okay. All right. A ver, um, Gilmar dijo algo bien interesante. De repente, cuando usted, en el caso de Gilmar, él todavía está trabajando en esta empresa, ¿cierto? Entonces, por no, ejemplo, no. usted dice, I, um, o oh, let's see, from 2011 to, uh, or you say from, from 2011, currently, still currently working, ¿verdad? Cuando usted dice actually, es como realmente, no es actualmente. Entonces, cuando usted dice, sigo trabajando, decimos así. Uh, no, se los pongo aquí en el chat y decimos, um, currently working. Está right. ah. temblando. Está temblando el encendedor. No. La fuerte. La tecla también. Todos, todo el país está temblando. Aquí en Houston también. Interesante. Por el, por el frío. Tranquilo, tranquilo, no corran. Relajado. Es, es por el frío que va a ser el fin de semana. Cambio de pasó? clima. Sí, ya pasó, ya pasó. Aquí me está segundo, segundo lo bueno de vivir en La Palma nunca se sienten los temblores. Ay, qué chivo. Ay, qué bonito, qué bonito. Para allá lo abrico, para allá lo abrico. Tenemos que irnos para allá. Ay, no, no me aflija porque va. me da miedo. Ya va a llegar por ahí. Qué fuerte, qué fuerte se sintió. Yo ya, yo ya iba de camino. Yo ya había salido. El temblor, el temblor va desde la costa del país hacia el norte del país o sea ya va a llegar a Calate ¡Ay no! ¡Ay no! ¡No sea malo! Quiero vivir ahí entonces Yo también okay. Vicky deme, deme posada ya eh, Vámonos para Calate Ahorita le da frío allá Johnny se sintió en Santa Ana Pero, pero, está pero, frío. pero so so teacher. Buenas chamarras. Recuerden que eh, más liberación Fischer. de energía y en, la la casta, en Berlín se sintió muy mejor. fuerte Berlín ahora sí y no uno bien fuerte eso sí es cierto mejor que se libere la fuerza poco a poco eso sí. es, eso Uy, es qué verdad. fuerte fue pues. sí. mejor es ahora y no en la madrugada no es mejor en la madrugada no, no, no es que les pasa no se siente solo, solo, ¿no? Solo pienso que es su pareja la que le está empujando. ¿Y si no tiene pareja? Lo están asustando entonces si no tiene pareja. La conciencia. Los espíritus son. La conciencia. Debemos estar atentos, ¿verdad? Espero que estén bien. Espero que estén bien. Todo bien, todo bien. Bendito Dios pude ser bien en esta casa. Eso. Muy bien, esta casa, esta casa yo la diseñé, yo nivelé el terreno, yo la cuadré, yo sé cuánto block lleva, yo sé cuánto hierro lleva, yo sé cómo he hecho esta casa. Y ya no es voy a contratar, estimado. <risa> es que confío mucho en Dios y, y pues en lo está que bien. se hizo. Está bien, bueno. está bien. Ok, very nice. Hasta se me olvidó que estábamos diciendo. Ahora right, estaba explicando. Pero lo que sí, la buena buena buena. Buena. a terminar ya ahora. They're currently, work, uh, currently working, ¿verdad? Si usted sigue trabajando en esa empresa, usted dice, I'm still, cur like, yes. still currently working, all right, on this company, ¿verdad? Entonces. Uh, teacher, write yes. in, the, in the chat, please. Ay, no, yo no lo escribí. Yo no lo escribí. Yo no lo escribí. Estaba terminando de escribir chat. cuando tembló el vir. Yes. <risa> Iba a poner. ¡Ay! Sí, el, 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 
Qué miedo. Sí, la verdad. Hola. Y se puede decir eh, traba, eh, from eh, 2010 to present. Yeah, you can say to present. Yes, you can also say that. Okay, yep. All right, that's another way. Very good. All right, lo que sí no vamos a decir es, es um, right now, ¿verdad? tampoco, ni right now, ah, ni okay. actually. So, lo que pasa es que actually lo confundimos yeah, porque nowadays. suena como actualmente. Um, nowadays, yeah, but it's not very formal, Francisco. Okay. All right, so it's like currently working or um, until present, I think it's better than say nowadays, okay? Especially in a job interview, all right? Yeah. So yeah, you have to be a little bit more formal, all right? Okay, very good, guys. Let's see. Um, I'm just gonna ask about education. Let me see now. Ya no vamos a preguntar about employment history. I'm gonna ask about education. Let's see. Um, Carlos Valverto, uh, tell me about your education. Uh, my education is high school. Okay. All right. Um, some diplomas and different um, different education like electrician, like electronic. Okay. L okay. Um, like seminars, like workshops, uh, Alberto? Yes. Yeah, all right, very good. Okay, that's fine. Um, Maritza, can you tell me about your education, please? Uh, the high school, um, college, um, college Central Harvard in... Mm -hmm. Do you have a do you have a university degree or a university diploma? No. All right. No. Okay. All right. That's fine. Do you have um trainings or workshops? Yes. All right. Very good. Okay. Excellent. Very nice. A ver, Maritza, igual. Eh, Acuérdense que cuando nosotros decimos college, no se refiere a colegio. All right, se refiere a universidad. ¿Verdad? Si usted en el caso estudió en un colegio, no en una escuela, si gusta puede hacer la diferencia diciendo private school and public school. All right, ahora si usted dice college, yo entiendo que es universidad. All right, okay. yes, ok. Very good. So you can say, ahí está el niño de Daniel, hi. Uh -huh. All right, so you can say university or you can say college, all right? Okay. Yeah, very good, thank you. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, Maritza, very thank nice. You. Very nice, all right, let's see. Um, Elvir, can you tell us about your education, please? Yes. Uh, I have a deployment for deploy. Diploma uh -huh. and engineer system. Okay. And the institution I have to course the engineer is the UTEC. Okay. In Salvador. Yes. And they in 2007 mm -hmm. 2011. Okay. All right. Very good. Okay. And other, and other schools. All right, of course, and other courses. Very good. All right, thank you guys. Very nice. Let's see. Um, one more so I can ask volunteers. Anybody that wants to volunteer? No, so I can okay. ask. All right, Francisco, tell tell us about your education. Okay. My my last uh, my last degree is is technical education. Technical oh, education. Okay. Uh, at in support. And oh. four years ago, 
I studied I studied uh, administration. Ah, okay. At administration. Okay. And and for two years around. Okay. All right. All right. Very good, Francisco. And you know what? And this is Francisco. Anything else? Yes. Yes. Okay. Now remember, and this is for everybody here in this class. Remember that you can also say that you've been taking English courses. All right. Maybe you're not completely finished the whole program, but then you can say, I am currently taking an English course. All right. Because not believe it or not. It's part of education. Yeah, yeah, it's part of the education and it's part of the training. All right. So yeah, you have to include your English courses. Yes. All right. It's, it's another course. It is Actually. another course, yeah. And it gives you a plus. All right. Believe it or not, there are many people that are not studying English. All right. So if you mention that you are taking English courses, it's good for you. OK, so yeah, yeah, remember that because it's part of yes. your education. Yeah. OK. All right. Very nice. Excellent. All right. So let's um, keep on working here, guys. Uh, we're going to move on with next page. It's page 17. And it's a reading, okay? Well, what did I do? Hold on. It's a reading that I'm gonna share with you here. Okay. It says, read this internet article, five requirements of the perfect manager, okay? Let's see. Mariano, can you read paragraph one? Carlos Valberto, can you read paragraph Two, pero hasta donde dice street. Carlos Valberto, okay? Elvir, can you continue paragraph two or number two? From you will to when asked, okay? Then, um, Maria Melina, can you read number three? Yes, teacher. Thank you. And let's see here. Carla, can you read number four? And Misael, can you read number five? <coughs> All right, very good. Teacher. Okay. Yes, Johnny. Excuse me, what is the difference between job title, title mm -hmm. and job position? Uh, the job title is the name. It's the same, actually, Johnny. It's actually the same. It's like, what is your job position? Uh, I'm a teacher, but what is the job title? Um, Maestra de Tercer Ciclo y Bachillerato, for example. Okay. All right, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. All right, so who's reading number one? I can't Me, remember. Teacher. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Be a people person. Nurse a people and we are looking for a manager who likes people. You shall be comfortable with conflict resolution. You shall know how people work and know how they motive, motive, motivate. Motivate, motivate, motivate uh -huh. If you are better with computer than that people and understand clean, clean down better than English. You are not a good fit for our ma managerial team. Managerial team, uh-huh, very good, thank you. Um, who's reading number two, first part? Be a good communicator. Mm -hmm. You should be able to communicate effectively using all methods, including visual presentation, public speaking, email, teleconferencing, and face-to-face. -face. Good communication is uh, a two-way street. Excellent, thank you. Continue, Elvir. You will be required to returnally update your employees or their and the team's performance. You will communicate 
any feedback from output management and customer and providing status information with has. All right, thank you. Let's see who's reading number three. Oh, uh -huh. me, Emilia. Yes, Mary, Mary. The products we create are at Norsul are technically complicated. You don't need to be able to call in. No sé cómo se pronuncia eso. I think it's C hashtag, uh -huh, or number sign. Okay. You don't need to be able to call in C hashtag. Uh -huh. But you should be able to give technical technical guidance, technical guidance, and decide the best strategies and methods for success. And not having watched happy feet or the merge of the penguins does not qualify. You ask. Technically proficient in Linux. Okay. That's hard. <laughs> Thank you. That's okay. No, you did you did well. Very good. Who's reading number four? Thank you. In works is important at Northstock. Not only are you required to encourage the best practice for building teamwork. You are considered a part of the team. We have no doors at no sort for you to hide behind. In fact, we have no traditional office space to, for managers. You are required to site and work with your staff. All right, thank you. All right, and who's reading the last paragraph? Five. Yeah, okay. Let's be example. Their best managers. Let's be example. Had Norkshot, had managers are recurring. To dress had high professionally. Had hard time. Had to be available. To guy who dance had her when needed. Lading the example, means working late on weekends with your employer, parking with your employer, had using their some washroom as your employer, it's all about doing instead of Quantification plus and doing their free time. Right time. Okay, doing the right thing. All right, very good, guys. Let's see. Uh, just give me a second. I need to see something here. Okay, so we're going to uh, talk about this and I'm going to ask some questions. Number one, it says, be a people person. What is that? What is a people to be a people person? Do you have any idea what that means? Mm, I don't know. Yeah, I think that means. Um, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Anybody that knows? Politics? Uh -huh, okay. Maybe this lesson te, uh, say the good thing uh -huh. and the good practice and the for the managers. Uh -huh, maybe. for sure. Uh, manager uh, talk the talk to the thing about the uh, ten uh, items. A specific uh -huh. items, sorry. Okay, all right, okay, very good. All right, so when someone says he or she is a people person, 
That means that you, as the boss, as the manager, as the supervisor, sure. you know your people, all right? That they feel comfortable with you and you feel comfortable with them. That you're empathetic, all right? That you feel empathy with your employees, all right? Like, that you like understand. I yeah, right, okay. Yeah, very good. All right, so that's like to be a people person. Number okay. two, it says be a good communicator. All right, alguien que me explique, what is to be a good communicator? Anybody else or someone else? What is to be a good communicator? Maybe one person uh, talk clear uh -huh. for the others. Yes. Any specific point and tell uh, lineamientos guidelines guidelines for the good work in the, right. in the team okay right and that they are able to express their points clearly right because you can speak but if we, then nobody understands you because you're not clear all right then you're not a very good communicator all right and then it says number three be technically proficient. All right, what is that? Let me see, vamos a ver aquí. Um, who can tell me who is, a ver, Amilcar, when we say be technically proficient, what is that, Amilcar? Do you understand what is technically proficient? Okay, I think another person is effing, effing, efficient. Efficient? And technically is very, very how uh, he or she has knowledge about the, the different topics. Okay. Or... Um, Maquinaria, conocimiento de muchas cosas. All right, yeah, like they have to be, yeah, they have, like, uh -huh. like a, like a person uh, that have a lot of ability, for example. Yes, yes. All right, the, yes. The, the conocimiento técnica. Yeah, the technical knowledge. knowledge. Very good. Yes, uh -huh. of course. Very nice. Okay. And number four says encourage teamwork. All right, what does that mean? What does it to encourage um, teamwork means? Anybody? Maybe Maritza, Carla, Fatima, Johnny. What is to encourage teamwork? Teamwork. Uh huh. Any ideas? I don't, I don't want you, I mean, you can read it again, but I want you to explain it. Excuse me? To inclusive teams. What do you mean? I, uh, I don't know to say sentirse incluido en el grupo. Okay, all right. Okay. Any... Is uh, all person uh, can work a uh, uh, in team uh -huh. yeah that you're able to work in team not only you are able to work in a team but also make everyone be to be able to work in teams all right so that is like to say okay we need to work together you need to motivate people all right so it's very um you need to promote teamwork all the time with your employees all right and then number five it says lead by example what does that mean johnny tell me what does that mean uh, uh leader, uh, leader i don't know uh-huh but i guide to the team mm -hmm uh with my example yes all right so in other words you're leading 
or you're doing things because you're showing how to do things through example and not only anything but leading them all right so you have to be a good leader at the end all right let's see um all right i'm going to read number one and then we're going to talk about vocabulary here nor uh, be a people's person uh nor ox or Norxod or whatever, that's the name of the company, is people and we're looking for managers who like people. Should you be comfortable with conflict resolution? You should know how people work and how and know how to motivate your team. If you are better with computers than people and understand uh, clean gone better than English, you're not a good fit for our man, a man managerial i guess managerial team okay so that means you need to communicate with people not with computers okay any uh vocabulary or word that you don't know in paragraph one or everything is okay lingo understand lingo um i think that's just they make reference to movies and things like funny things. So it says, if you understand Klingon, I guess that's another type of, I don't know, language or something. It's not a language as a language, but some kind of like way of speaking. All right, it's just a name. All right. All right, number two. Be a good communicator. You should be able to communicate effectively using all methods including visual presentations, public speaking, email, teleconferencing, and face-to-face. -face. Good communication is a two-way street. You will be required to uh, routinely update your employees on their and the team's performance. You will communicate any feedback from upper management and customers and provide a status information when asked. Any questions about that paragraph or number two? What, what is, is the meaning of, of, of two-way strip? Okay, yeah, that says, it's like an expression. Communi good communication is a two-way street. Remember that when you have good communication, it's not only you communicating but someone is receiving the message or vice versa all right so it's like como una calle de doble sentido verdad porque uno dice el otro escucha el otro escucha el otro dice all right so it has to be a two-way street like a very fluid communication okay all right another question alguien creo que decía update o no sé si decía update or upper upper Upper. Okay, so uh, any feedback from upper management quiere decir como una gerencia superior, o sea, su jefe. Si usted es gerente, siempre tiene un jefe. Gerente uh, regional, all right? So the upper management es como alguien sobre usted. Upper manager. Oh, yes. Okay, thank you. Okay, anything else? Teacher. Yes. Teacher, effectively, what? the first line. Effectively. Uh-huh. Yeah, effectively. effectively is the pronunciation and the forma efectiva, usando métodos efectivos, right? Oh, uh -huh. So it's effectively is effectivo, yeah. Para comunicarse efectivamente, porque es un adverbio, de hecho, all right? Teacher, what is the main thing's performance? Oh, all right. Um, el desarrollo del equipo, como ellos han hecho las cosas, su desempeño, el desempeño del equipo, performance. Okay. Uh -huh. okay, thank you. All right, very good. Let's go to the next one, please. Number three. The product. We create at uh, the company are technically complicated. You don't need to be able to code in C hashtag or C number sign, 
But you should be able to give yes. Uh, say C sharp. The code in C sharp. Oh really? It's a, yes. It's a oh, all right. Program code. Oh, that's a program. Oh, cool. Okay, thank you. Program language. C sharp. Oh, nice. Interesting. Thank you. But you should be able to give technical guidance and decide the best strategies and methods for success. I know, having watched Happy Feet or The March of the Penguins does not qualify you as technically proficient in Linux. All right, so ahí es como que hace referencia. Si usted ha visto la película tal o tal, entonces no quiere decir que califica para ser proficient, technically speaking, all right? All right. Anything else from that paragraph? No, everything okay? All right, very good. Number four, teamwork is important. Um, not only are you required to encourage the best practices for building teamwork, you are considered a part of the team. We have no doors at North Ox, North, North Sod, for you to hide behind. In fact, we have no traditional office space for managers. You are required to sit and work with your staff. Questions? Mm. Encourage. Encourage, right. yes, me too. Yeah, encourage is como motivar. Okay. All right. Okay. Anything else from that one? Teacher. Yes. Then if I am manager, uh -huh. I should sit with my team. Yeah, uh, in this company, yeah, because they don't they don't have the typical manager's office, Johnny. Come okay. on, teacher. Come on. Excuse me? <laughs> yeah, all right. So yeah, in this office, nobody has another office. Everybody sits together and everybody's just treated the same. All right. Okay, and then lead by example. It says the best managers lead by example. All managers are required to dress and act professionally. Give me a second. professionally at all times and to be able, I mean, to be available to give guidance and help when needed. Leading by example means working late and on weekends with your employees, parking with your employees and using the same washroom as your employees. It's all about doing instead of uh, pontificating and doing the right thing. All right, any other word? Mm, for example, what is the meaning of the instead? El lugar de? En lugar de? Uh -huh. Instead, yep. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's all what is means pontificating? Um, it's like feeling important. Or I feeling like, you know, I cannot do anything because I'm special. Okay. Uh huh. Pretty much. For example, soy el que manda aquí. Uh huh. <laughs> All right. So you should be, um, you should do instead of, you know, kind of like pretending you are the big boss which you are but you know just kind of be a people person <laughs> okay guys so for the last couple of minutes i want you to work on this all right exercise two are these statements true or false these um statements are about this reading okay so make sure that you have 
I hope you have your book there so you can read the reading and then check true or false. All right, so, um, les voy a dar un par de minutitos y luego vamos con las respuestas. It is more important to manage system. It is more important to manage system than people. Number one, false. Number two, to be a great communicator, one should use as many tools as possible. Be para ser un gran comunicador. One should use as to in order to be technically proficient, giving one's opinion is if is enough in order para ser giving one's opinion denos una denos opiniones si está de acuerdo all right how are we doing guys finishing or not yet no yet teacher yes. okay all right Yes, I finished the chair. Okay, Daniel, thank you. We're going to wait one more minute, Daniel, and then we we'll start checking, okay? Okay. okay. If you are a manager, you can skip extra work and have weekend off. Si tu eres un manager, tu puedes skip extra down y tener... Maria Melina, you live in Usulutan. Yes, I do teach teacher. All right. Was it was the quake there in Usulutan? Do you know? Or where was it? Does anybody know where the quake was? If you come in by the the um, carretera panamericana. Uh-huh. Um when you are in Mercedes Sumaña, uh -huh. you have to take that, that street, Mercedes Sumaña street, and um, 12 kilometers okay. more you are in Berlin, Usulután. All right. Okay. All right. Let's see. Thank you. All right, let's see. Thank you, Maria Melina. All right, very good. Number one, it is more important to manage systems than people, true or false? False. Yes, oh. very good, Edwin. Yeah, false, very nice. Okay. False. Yes, it is false. Number two, to be a great communicator, one should use as many tools as possible. True. 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 Yes, true. 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 Number three, in order to be technically proficient, giving one's opinion is enough. False. False, yes. Number four, encouraging teamwork is, an impor is as important as being part of the team. True. True, true. 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 yes, very good. 
And number five, if you are a manager, you can skip extra work and have Four. weekends off. Oh. Yeah, oh. right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, <that's> yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, <laughs> all right. <laughs> all, all the jefes del mundo. Yeah, all right. Very good. That's false. Very nice. Por eso son jefes. Sí, son los que más trabajan. Por eso no quiero ser jefe. Excellent. Very nice. All right. Okay, guys. Vamos a ver. Esta parte que está aquí, exercise three. We will do this on Monday, all right? Y Monday, como todavía estamos dentro de la primera semana, acuérdense que empezamos martes, el lunes nos toca hacer esto y un repaso del can, can't, would, be, could be, all right? De las qualifications and all that. Para ya el martes oficialmente empezar en unit two. All right, voy a dejar de compartir aquí. Igual, acuérdese que debe completar la unidad 1 o la sección 1 para este fin de semana, puesto que el lunes nos toca repaso, ¿verdad? Porque hemos terminado toda la unidad para que no se vaya atrasando. Acuérdese que eh, después de la unidad 2 tiene no solo las tareas de la unidad 2 o de la sección 2, sino que también el examen de medio curso. All right, very good. Um, voy a tomar la última asistencia. All right, Carlos Roberto García Ramírez. Carlos Walberto Rodríguez. Present. Daniel Antonio Luna. Present teacher. Domingo Alexander González. Present teacher. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas. Present teacher. Ever de Jesús Candray Montano. Present teacher. Fátima Alejandra Centeno Franco. Present teacher. Gilmar Cruz Méndez Méndez. Present teacher. Johnny Omar Torres Mata. Present. Jonathan Alexander Pineda Díaz. Present. Jorge Elvir Miranda Ramos. Present. José Francisco Hernández Ábalos. Present teacher. Carla Benacir Lara González. Present. Marco David Velázquez Vázquez. Present. María Emelina Iraeta de Salinas. Present teacher. Itza Alcira Castellón Celaya. I'm here teacher. Thank you, Misael Rivera Aquino. Present teacher. Nancy Lisette Rodríguez Escoto. Romeo Alexis Rodríguez Joaquín. Jasmine Melanie Lemus Rodríguez. Present teacher. Marlon Alberto Cardona Valencia. Present. Carlos Eduardo Melgar Rivas. Present teacher. Mariano José Paca Santa María. Mariano José. Present teacher. Present. Yes, present. thank you. Vicky Dinora Gutiérrez de Durán. Present teacher. Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. Present teacher. Adela Trinidad González con suegra. Victoria María Vázquez Juárez. And Amilcar Cañengues Aceituno. Present teacher. Excellent, guys. Yes. Thank you, Trini. No se preocupe. All right, guys. Very good. Thank you so much for joining class this whole week. I will see you all on Monday. Have a wonderful weekend and please take care of yourselves. Bye, guys. Thank you. Bye. 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 Nice weekend. Bye, Bye now. Bye. Alexander, Domingo Alexander, hoy le tocan sus 10 minutos. ¿Se acordaba? Sí. Mm -hmm. oh, excelente. Very nice. Okay. A ver, Alexander, I don't know if you have any questions about what we have been studying. Tiene alguna pregunta, yeah. Alexander? Uh, the question, um, for a moment, no, o sea, um, tal vez por lo que tuve dificultad mi, eh, but in synthesis, the, 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 what is the subject, then 
por ejemplo, de en los ejercicios de ayer, de encontrar el sujeto de con, ¿cuál es el sujeto con las oraciones de core you y world be? Ah, no, world, core be, world be y world, world be. be. Uh -huh. Ajá. Distinguir, como no había un sujeto propio, cuando no hay un sujeto propio, distinguir eso, me, cuesta, me costó, me costó ayer. Uh -huh. okay, tu... Déjeme ver ahí, permítame, ahorita voy. Lo vamos a poner acá. Uh en la página ahorita voy la página 12 sí, exacto, a ver entonces aquí ahorita voy aquí tenemos se lo voy a compartir para que lo intentemos hacer acá solo para, para guiarlo un poquito a ver, acuérdese que en el caso de la número 1 lo identificamos como más rápido porque tenemos it, ¿verdad? Y sabemos que es un pronombre personal. Ese creo que no nos da problema. Um, la número dos. Decíamos a training, ¿verdad? Esa nos de, así nos quedó. A training, ¿eh? A Ajá. training. A training okay. could be. All right. Entonces, en ese caso, a training es un it. ¿Verdad? Usted me puede decir, pero ¿y employees? All right. Entonces, la, lo interesante, digamos, ahí, Alexander, es cómo tratar de darle el sentido a la oración. Si pusiéramos employees, all right, como sujeto, la oración pierde su significado. ¿Verdad? Mientras que si ponemos una, un entrenamiento, una capacitación, sería beneficioso para, nuestros, para, para los empleados, por ejemplo. All right. Entonces tiene más, entonces tenemos que jugar como con el sentido. Ahí podríamos tener dos posibles, training y employees. Los demás ya no pueden ser sujeto. Ahora, uh -huh. si ponemos employees como sujeto, el significado de la oración se trastorna de tal forma que no tiene sentido. Permítame un segundito. Permítame un segundito, porfa. Deme un segundito. Esto. Ah, perdone, Alexander, me tuve que levantar un segundito. All right, entonces, en el caso de la número dos, tendríamos que como jugar con, con descubrir, ¿verdad? Eh, en la tres, por ejemplo, podríamos también decir, ah, working less hours, como trabajar menos horas, would be another benefit, ¿verdad? Entonces, es como ir descubriendo, tratar de identificar todas las palabras y ver cuál es la que tiene el mejor sentido para poder identificar eh, con mayor facilidad el sujeto, ¿verdad? A veces, por ejemplo, en, la, en el caso de la número 3, working less hour es un gerundio, que es un nombre, ¿verdad? El working less hour es trabajar menos horas, pero eso se vuelve, es un gerundio, pero se, en posición de sujeto, ¿verdad? Entonces, es como ir identificando y saber las partes de las oraciones para que poco a poco usted vaya entendiendo o identificando el sujeto. Ok, sí, aquí lo, lo único que sentí yo que me perdí un poquito porque como buscando la, la, el orden de la oración va... Claro. Um, ya, yeah. pero aquí estás un poquito más de saber un poquito más de las palabras y tener más conocimiento de palabras, tal vez eso es lo que necesito para sí, poder mejorar eso. Exacto, sí, sí, yo creo que sí. Pero vamos bien, ahora yo le recomiendo que ahorita yo creo que es importante que todo lo que usted pueda leer, 
a Alexander que pueda tener así en sus manos en inglés, es como muy bueno que lo haga, ¿verdad? Como para ir reforzando, agregando más vocabulario, para que sienta sí. que va. Uh -huh. Voy a aprovechar el tiempo que tengo de descanso porque quiero ponerme más al día porque sí me cuesta un poco más. Y, sí. y, y he estado viendo otras... Ah, una cuestión, no sé si quería preguntar. Eh, estaba viendo que el inglés... Eh, vi una película en inglés hace poco que es, es, es prácticamente europea, eh, versión europea, sí. en, 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 pero le entendí casi a toda la película. Ajá. Se llama, el, la mujer de negro se llama, de sale, el que sale en Harry Potter, pero sale haciendo... Ah, pero, okay. el, 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 es, pero sí le entendí casi a toda la película sin necesidad de, digamos, del... del, del, del del, ¿cómo se llama? de las palabras que salen, ¿verdad? sino que prácticamente entendía lo que estaban hablando. Y sí, sí. como es, no es rápida, pero Ajá. ya el inglés estadounidense es muy, como, uh, siento yo que es, como que es muy, como, como que fuéramos nosotros, nosotros latinos hablando, Ajá. versus el español de España. Sí, claro, eso claro. Lo, Entonces, en ese sentido tendría que buscar más material de ese para poderme apoyar. Sí, sí, claro que sí. Lo que pasa es que pareciera que, digamos, que el, el inglés que hablan en Estados Unidos pareciera más rápido. El inglés británico tiene que ser más pausado, ¿verdad? Entonces, mm. quizás por ahí, pero sí, o sea, la idea es que todo lo que se pueda, Alexander, para que se le vaya haciendo cada vez más fácil. Sí, eso sí. All right. Por el momento, estamos queriendo tratar de salir alcanzar lo máximo que pueda. Claro, uh -huh. muy bien, sí, está bien. Ok, Alexander, lo voy a dejar descansar. Nos vemos el lunes. All right. All right. Ok, Alexander, cuídese. Adiós. Uh, Bye. Good night, teacher. Bye.